Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Kanban in Airtable. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in Airtable, you want to click on the Kanban and click plus here. And if you can't find the views where you will find them, you will go and be in Airtable, things to buy, you want to enable views and then you can have a Kanban and you want to click Kanban view. You can name it, so I'm just, I will just leave Kanban, create a new view. Now choose a grouping field. Which single cell or collaborate field would you like to use for this Kanban view? So we can have it by assigning and I created already two uh, single select fields as a status or priority. If I'm going to have status, you can see that we have the uncategorized to do in progress done or I can go by priority which is going to be high, medium, low. So let's say status and I'm going to have done. Of course, you can create a new single select field or you can create a new user field if you don't have any. Now I'm going to click done and here I have it. So what I can actually find here, I'm going to find like uncode reside, to do, in progress. In progress is got it also directed the subtasks that I created for the task. So I can simply move it here, move it here and move also task here. And you can, of course, a new stack added. You can click plus here and add a new record. And in the moment when you would be adding a new record in Airtable, like plus here, and you would start typing, or you can simply add a subtask. Or you can add a signee, right? So we can actually edit um, and add a complete new record in Airtable. So again, I can cancel it. And now you see right here that we have the Kanban view. You can of course uh, print the view and also export it. You can stack it by status and you can always change that. So in the, in the moment when I'm going to be stacked by status, I can choose it to priority. You can even create a new two Kanban boards, which one of them would be by priority and the second one can be by status. You can do that too. You can customize the cards. So here you can easily add a signee, a status. So let's say that I want to have also not only status, I want to have priority combined with it. So we have the subtasks. I can disable it if I want or enable it. And I want to have also priority. So right now I see that, okay, we have the to do and this is a high priority. So I'm going to move it here in progress. And that's something I can do. So uh, that's really interesting what you can do in Kanban. So you can easily customize the cards or you can hide all or you can show all. And when you're going to click on the show all, you can have all the things that you can find here. So that's something definitely you can do. And now I can also filter it so you can filter it where name contains, let's say YouTube, right? And it's going to like where you have the YouTube, it will show. But in a moment when I don't have the filter it by name, I'm going to have everything. So again, the customized cards and stacked by are the most important things that you can have. Then of course you can sort it up by subtasks or you can sort it up by duration. Then you're going to have color here so you can have a colors. So in the moment when it's going to be done, it's going to be green. This is really effective when you have the calendar to have a colors, always choose the color here on the top so you can have like colorful. And now when you have the color, you can share the view and you can create a shareable Kanban view link. So that's pretty much it how we do it. And uh, that's how it's done. Now, if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide some guidance. This was a Kanban tutorial, Kanban, how to use Kanban in Airtable.
So yeah, thank you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.